I often recommend to people who want to repair their own glass, don't even think about it. It is a difficult material to work with. You need a proper laboratory, you need the proper materials, and you need a significant amount of experience to do it. Glass breaks into tiny slivers, sometimes large pieces, sometimes small pieces. They bounce, they scatter, and in reality, no one ever finds all the pieces. We like to distinguish between the, the fields of restoration and conservation. Restorers are people who may put things back together, but also will add something to the object. Perhaps if there are pieces missing from the base or missing from the top or the center, they'll actually restore or fill in those losses. That's restoration. Conservation may take an active or passive approach. Conservators will maybe just stabilize a piece or assemble a piece, leaving those losses to present part of the history of that object. If glass breaks, we don't relegate it to storage or to be packed away in some shoebox forever. We put it back together and put it back on exhibition. And some of these pieces have, are as old as two to 3,000 years. We would like to think of preserving this collection for at least that long, if not longer. The approach to repairing glass, in, to me, is, is quite simple. It's, it's really quite practical. It's not unlike doing watch or clock repair. There's only one place that each and every fragment will fit, and only one order, really, in which to put it back. So working with certain types of adhesives, those adhesives need to set. They may need to set overnight, and so you can only literally do one piece a day. There's a lamp upstairs that I did, a Tiffany lamp. It came in in about 40 pieces and with about 100 small fragments. I spent about five minutes a day working on that piece over a period of about three months. So total amount of working time, maybe 12 hours over three months. I've done pieces that have been in 100 fragments. It's kind of amazing to think that a small little glass vessel can go back together from 100 fragments, but it is possible, and they look good.